morning guys and happy vlogmas day 11 instead of worrying about having a card holder or something we just decided to put them on our tv stand so that way we can see them so these are all of the awesome cards that we've gotten so far and they're really really cute i love the way this looks i think i want to do something like this in the future like if we have a fireplace i'm just gonna put them along the mantle i think having them out like that just is so cute i love this so I was like going through my washi drawer and I realized I had tons I didn't need and I even had this like stash that I talked about in my like desk tour that I set aside like months ago. So I decided to do some racks and then I posted it in the Oh Hello group and I picked six people so very excited for them to get this washi tape because I'm just not using it and it's going to be awesome to share the love of the washi tape. And I'll probably do another one with like stickers and odds and ends and stuff a little bit later, I think, because I do have quite a lot of stuff. I'm just not going to get the usage out of, so I might as well send it along to people who will, you know, brighten everyone's day a little bit. Got my like bun bobble going on. As the week progresses, I just get more and more not in the mood for makeup. <laughs> just like, ah, I'm okay. My hair is like, no thank you. I'm going to be doing the curls again on Sunday because we're having our family um, Christmas with my dad's side of the family. So I thought I would do the curl hair stuff. So maybe I'll vlog it a little bit to show you guys how I do it, but I'm definitely not good enough doing it yet that I can actually film like a proper tutorial because I basically burned myself two or three times through the process. So I'll definitely show you guys though. I think it's, it's a really cool hairstyle and I just use a curling iron. So it's like not that complicated and you don't have to like go out and buy special tools to do it or anything. But other than that, I've just been working on new releases for Sunday. We have a lot of cool stuff coming out. I can show you, it's all right here. So when you're watching this, these will be live. So we have these like work sidebars. We have these little poops. Look at these little poops. We'll focus on them. Look at those. Then uh, we changed our canceled and rescheduled stickers. I don't know why it's so curly to be like, a bunch of different sayings, so we're doing those little sayings. There's also this sheet of book stickers, which are super cute, and they say like, currently reading, and a bunch of different book quotes. Then we have these due date stickers for like assignments or, I don't know why I'm holding these like an idiot, like assignments or um, projects or something, so if you like work or go to school, these are really good if you have like deadlines. And then we also did this like Pantone set so we have these um it's not a set they're separately but we have the samplers and then we have full boxes if i can reach it with these full boxes and then some of these like half boxes so those are all going live now so when you watch this they will be live and that's really it that's all that's happened today <laughs> not very exciting i know so I was scrolling through Blog Lovin' and found this mini peanut butter chocolate chip muffin recipe. Uh, I'm just using them in regular muffin tins because I didn't want to make mini ones, but it seemed like a pretty simple recipe and I just decided to uh, whip them up. So they should be done like any second now. I just pulled them from the oven and they look pretty dang delicious. I really like their texture. I think they turned out pretty cool. The lighting in here is dreadful, so I'm sorry about that, but I think they're delicious looking. We'll see how they taste. Alex tried them um, already, like the batter, and he said it was pretty good, but we shall see. All right, so we went to the P.O. box, and I don't want to show any uh, addresses, but we got so many more. So we'll just be doing them periodically. We can't show them all because the video will be like... Five ever. Five ever. So I'm just going to show a couple and maybe do like highlights and stuff. But this one, which I've already opened because I'm very, very excited about it. Make sure you talk loud. Is a letter from my first best friend back when I lived in Grand Rapids. So we haven't actually seen each other in probably like 15 years. We're friends on Facebook, but we don't talk very often. And she actually moved to France, I think a couple of years ago. I'm not 100% sure because we haven't caught up. And she sent me one. And I'm so excited. Of course, it's really long. So I'm probably not going to read it that loud, but. Thank you. So these are all of the awesome letters we got. All the cool Christmas cards from you guys. I love the photo ones, they're so cute. There's so much glitter. Glitter is everywhere. Little Laurel, ah, Laurel. 
she's so cute. And then I got all this cool stuff from Denise. This is the first like stamping set I've ever gotten beyond like the stamps that we used to sell. These are like the ones that go on the acrylic blocks. I know nothing about this. So if you guys have any advice, just tell me how to do this. And maybe I'll do some stamping videos too to show you guys how to use those. But she sent all these sticker books and stuff too. So it's super awesome. And then we have this package from Orally. I just realized, is United States and French Etats? Etats Uni. Etats Uni. Huh. Can I open it now? Yeah, just don't show your address. Yes. And there's a letter from um, Denise, but I don't know where it went because I put everything in her box. So it might be in her stack to find it. I took French for seven years. I started in sixth grade and I did it every single year until my sophomore year of college. So I realize I don't know how to open this. Just be gentle. We have Tequila and Alex Tardis from R. Lee and then another card. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the, this card. UNICEF card. Look at that gingerbread washi. Ah, I wonder where that's from. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh wow, that's so pretty. Oh, look at that. Sorry. That's super cute. Super cute. Lots of words. All right, we'll read it. We'll read it later. I don't want. To, I don't want the video to see it too long. Okay, I'm gonna, uh, okay, real quick so we know. Uh, I hope you like all of the items I've sent you for the holidays. I handmade the decorations in the top part of the pretty metallic box. The items in the box are for lemonade consumption while thinking of this beautiful country I live uh, next to. Or right next, right next to, maybe. maybe? Probably. She likes and that you should come visit. I hope you also enjoy the two other things. Kayla, where are you going to in Florida? That's where I used to live. I wouldn't uh, drive hours to come hang out if I was, or I would have driven hours to come hang out if I was still there. So please plan a trip to Switzerland so that we can make this happen. Can't wait to see all the new stickers on Sunday, the 6th. Oh, and the whoop sales next week. So that's happened. Uh, hope to hear back from you soon. If I don't hear, uh, all three of you spend amazing holidays around with family. Love, love, or so in Florida, I'm going to Orlando. We're going to Harry Potter World, and we'll probably just go all over. It's an RV, so we can literally just stay wherever there's an RV camp. So I'm not entirely sure, but that's the general area. He's been uh, really annoying today. Dear kid, I don't know what it is. Hilarious. About, She's mad because I'm rocking. He's been so annoying. The Einstein slash Bernie Sanders. He's just, thin oh, he's man just hair. been a child today. Uh, dear Kayla and Alex and Tardis, French words. Warmest thoughts and best wishes for a wonderful holiday and a very happy new year. Uh, the Butler family. And look at them. Look at the guys. You so haven't cute showed cutie. them. There you go. Thank you, family with the whole carriage and a puppy. And it's a so cute. Carry. All right, let's get into this thing. All right. That dog's adorable. So on top are these super cool coasters. Totally going to be our main coasters. Okay, so she made the top ornament. Oh, These are really nice. They're on wood. Oh, cool. That is super I cool. I okay, so This one's mine. I'm a reindeer, and Tardis is himself. <laughs> Tardis being played by Tardis. That's so Tardis cute. Tardis is such a star. So such a diva. That, These are, that was this so, is so cute. We we'll have to write her name on the back in the year. Oh, how cool! Lemonade glasses. Little baby lemonade glasses. From this face. I think that's their accent. I'm hoping so. From this face. This, this is super cool. It's like serious Christmas gifting and right here. In the box. Whoa! 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 What the what? What? Chocolate fondue set from Switzerland. He's yelling. He's excited. We're cooler than like everyone in this building, and that's like a hundred some people. They just got lamed out. We're, this is freaking cool. We are excited. You Thank you, Orly. That is you... so nice of you. What? You want chocolate? You want to eat this time? You want to do it now? Alrighty, guys. It's advent calendar time. What was it, Kayla? What did you just eat? A bell. It was a bell? Mm-hmm. Are you the bell of the ball? There's a photo. Are you a bell? Eat your ways. All right, eight, man.
<laughs> you already ate yours? Yeah, it's this open window right here. Oh. It was Captain America's shield. All right, guys. Here we go. Sometimes poems don't work well non-sequentially. Uh, non As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle mount of the sky. Do you remember that? I feel like at the end they might have us like summoning something. Read 10. And then connect it to 11. All right. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, <laughs> when they meet with an obstacle mount to the sky. Uh, I think there's too many syllables, I don't know. I just feel like all of a sudden, like we're gonna be summoning some kind of demon or like, like, and then in the, it's in the underwear drawer. Like some like wild goose chase. I tell you guys, he's been really weird today. It's something, it's something. Maybe he'll a be clue. a little cool and calm tomorrow. We'll see. I'm gonna be cool as a cucumber. They're pretty cool. I once knew his cucumber, his name was Kyle. We'll see you in a jump cut. It'd be real nice. Kyle is a good cucumber. Good morning guys and happy vlogmas day 12. I'm pretty sure it's 12. It's getting to the point where I can't remember. So today is our last pottery class which is really sad and we're actually not doing basically anything. We have to glaze one pot or bowl or whatever Alex made last week because I didn't go because I was not feeling well. Um, so yeah we're just gonna go pick stuff up more or less but I thought It'd be cool to show you guys that still because I'm going to probably write a blog post because I've learned a lot about Alex and I've learned about a lot about our relationship through pottery and I thought it'd be a fun little lifestyle post. But right now I'm working on some DIY Christmas gifts and I'm sure there's better ways to do this. I'm sure Pinterest is just like covered in proper ways to do this. But I thought I'd just try my own hand at it and see what happens. So I'm using these little jars that I got from Target. They're two different sizes because I couldn't really find two of these. I wanted two of these, but what can you do? And then I'm going to take our double batch of chocolate chip cookies and pour all the contents in here, all the dry contents, and make it look really cool. I'm sure, as I said, that there's a little bit more exact science to how you do this, but I thought I would just put all that information in there and then give a card or something with it with the recipe attached to it so they know what to add. But I really like our chocolate chip cookie recipe. I was going to do our cutout cookie, that like sugar cookie recipe that I put on my blog. But it won't look as pretty in the jar because there aren't textures or like a different color. It's all tan toned dry products and with the chocolate chip cookies you get that color of the chips. So I'm going to just work on that right now. do like a cookie cutter on it but then I realized you don't actually use cookie cutters for chocolate chip and I even added in some peanut butter chips because I thought that would add a nice color and make it a little bit prettier but that's all there is to it and then this one just looks exactly the same just in a different container and then I wrote the uh, recipe on the inside like what you have to add to it and everything so I've had a couple of hours of work and I'm currently working on a day in the life of TARDIS video and it might possibly be my favorite video of all time. So it's not going up until the end of the month. I'm pretty sure it's like tail end of the month. Let me look. I don't, I might bump it up. I think I'm gonna bump it up into an open slot because I don't have that many videos going up on the week of Christmas just so I can spend time with my family and it's gonna be hard because we're gonna be traveling so I might put it there instead because it is awesome I'm gonna show you guys a clip of it or at least the intro it is he's so cute and I love it so much I have about an hour or an hour a minute and a half of footage and I want to have like three minutes of footage so I'll have to keep finding him and filming him but it's 
so perfect. It's so funny. So that's all you're getting, but it is it is amazing. At her last pottery class. You want to see my new cool super mug? I want to see everything. I'm like super. I look like a bum. Yeah, you look like a pottering expert. I am a pottery expert. <laughs> That's the room we showed you last week. Oh yeah, they get to see the wood. So, like, Are any of these ours? Okay. So when you look in, you'll see what's left of the cones. Okay. This is what the cones look like when they come out of the kiln. Cones? Yes, pyrometric cones. Literally, you're literally talking about this. And this is what they go in. Okay, and what do they do? So each individual cone melts at a very specific temperature. And so what we do is we put these into the kiln top and bottom, which is why you have the two peeps. Okay. And then that way we can register whether it's firing evenly or whether it's very uneven, and then we can adjust the gas in the air and the damper to adjust everything in there so that the heat transfer can move up So and it down. can do. Is that why they call it like cone 10 firing? Yeah. It's, ah! So, you look in here. Don't go too close. You wow. Can look in. Oh, you can barely see. see them. It's like orange on orange. That's insane! Yep. And then, down here. See if might be able to see it just a touch better. One sec. Uh, I'm trying, I'm trying. There we go. That's super cool. And so you can look in and see that. That's super cool. Now that's green because the copper is burning off? Yeah, it's green from all the different chemicals and things like that that are glazes. Yeah. Now is that's where the flame's going in? Correct. That's it? That's crazy. But keep in mind, the flame from there is continuous through this whole thing. And then it, it goes through the whole thing up. and then goes up. So that's part of the flame coming out of there. Yeah, so you have two blowers down here, which is forcing air in. And hey, what's up? We are over at a friend's house and it is super foggy outside. What up? It's how winter happens now. Apparently. Yeah, apparently this is winter. And so we're just chilling, and that's what we're gonna do for the rest of the night. Yeah, then go I home and relax. End the vlog because I'm sure. <laughs> Please not a dog. <laughs> and so. and things will progress. So lemonade. if we it's forget to add that, we'll sitting do here. It the, uh, the next day. Yep. So. Over that audio. See you guys. Bye.